and just different horses here and today I'm doing the supernatural fandom tag. Special thanks to Sarah Secret uh, 66 because she actually compiled one. I mean I know they're all over the place but I've never actually seen one that was like a strict list written out until I saw hers. So without further ado because I do not I don't have a lot of camera battery right now. Let's get started. So how did you hear about Supernatural? I, so, I had this friend, and she kept telling me to check it out, and I was sick one day, I think this was in like 7th grade, so it was a little while ago, a long while ago, I don't even remember middle school, and then so, she told me to check it out, so I was like, okay, and I checked it out, and I loved it so much, I was sick on the day that I checked it out. Two, how long have you been watching Supernatural? <sighs> I think it's been six years? I don't know. Five or six years. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? Dean, obviously. Which season do you like the most? Um, actually, surprisingly, I loved season three. There were a lot of episodes in there that I just adored so much and that I, like, probably don't think that I could live without. What season are you currently watching? Ten. How many DVDs of Supernatural do you own? Um, all of them plus the Blu-ray anime series. So all nine seasons. What are your favorite episodes? Fan fiction, Changing Channels, Mystery Spot, um, The Larp and the Real Girl, and I love like The French Mistake and Hunter Heroicy. Have you ever seen The Stars Alive? Yes, multiple times. What got you hooked on Supernatural? I think it was mostly the mythology because, I don't know, i am like always been super into that stuff so watching a show about it was pretty cool. What do you think of the slash fictions? You do you, that's all I'm gonna say. I don't... <clears throat> Say one bad thing about Supernatural. Season 6. If you could change one thing about the show, what would it be? Okay, I wouldn't have killed Jessica as soon because the fans have no emotional connection to her, therefore we don't care about her. If she would have been in a couple episodes, maybe we would have liked her and, we, and when she died we actually would have felt some emotion. But her dying right off the back, like, we don't care, we didn't know her so there was no like real emotional connection to her. So I wouldn't have killed her as fast if I were them, but, you know, I guess they had to get Sam to go with Dean somehow. What actor would you like to see appear in the show? I honestly want Colin Ford to come back, because I love Colin Ford so much, and he hasn't been in the show since, like, season five. Favorite short-lived character on the show? Garth. Especially, okay, DJ Qualls. Um, I've met him. I think he's been at two or three of the cons that I've gone to. And I love him so much. Oh my gosh, he's so adorable, you guys. I just cry. I cry. Favorite monster or villain? Lucifer. What do you think of the marriage of Jared and Genevieve? I love them so much, and I ship it so hard forever and ever, and I love them, and she's my favorite. I love her. She's perfect. <laughs> what do you think of Kripke and Gamble? I love Kripke. Gamble, not so much. Um, how do you kill a shifter? Okay. Most people are going to automatically, automatically say, oh, um, silver bullet or blade to the heart. And yeah, that's one of the ways, but there's actually a couple other ways that most people don't mention. Okay, the cult. The cult kills everything, therefore the cult can kill shapeshifters. And two, do you guys remember when, it was season six, I think when they were talking about all the alphas, and they said the decapitation could kill the alpha shapeshifter? Well, I'm imagining if it could kill the alpha, it could probably kill all the regular ones, because alpha is more powerful. And then question 19 is, what am I most afraid of? And it's actually aliens in space. And that's actually because of childhood trauma. It's not because I just decided they were creepy. So when I was really young, um, I was watching the movie E.T. and it scared the crap out of me. And there's like psychology, if you ever study it, there's a thing that's like between the ages of like 3 and 8, I think it is. If anything like scares you, 
it'll pretty much scare, like scar you for life, like clowns and stuff. That's typically things you hear of, but. I guess um, I was scared of aliens during that time, and so I'm still scared of them. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching, um, and also I think, oh yeah, the question of this week is, what's your favorite episode and why? Most of the times they're like the funny ones. Oh, I, I forgot to say that one of my favorites was Swan Song. I love Swan Song so much. So yeah, um... I guess probably the next video you'll be seeing from me will be on maybe Monday if I get my package on Monday and if not Monday, Tuesday, I mean um, Wednesday for review Wednesday, then Friday. Hopefully I have somebody to collab with on Friday. Please guys, I know there's a lot of you who've asked, who've been asking me but no one has like, well people have been serious about it but I need like quick comment replies so we can talk about it so I can get it done before Friday because it's a busy week for me. This Saturday, I'm going to be gone all day, so I don't know if I'll be putting a video out, because I have to do community service stuff for my honor society for senior scholarship, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Bye.